Hey guys, welcome to level 2 algebra skills playlist. We're going to be looking at log rules in this case. Um, there's actually three main rules that's, uh, that will be covered in logs. Uh, and all these three formulas will actually be given to you guys in the formula sheet for NTA level 2. So nothing to worry about. But again, the more practice you do, you just start remembering things pretty much uh, straight off the bat. So first thing to look at is that when you actually have log of a number A, and if you add uh, with log of uh, a number B, then what happens is the same thing as saying log of A multiplied by B. And likewise, if you have log of A uh, minus log of B, then it's kind of the same thing as saying log of uh, a divided by b and one more thing is that when you actually have log of a to the power of n then what you can actually say is it's the same thing as saying n times multiplication of log a so what we'll do is we'll have a look at a couple of um, examples uh, and trust me you'll just get the hang of it very very uh, easily because it's as simple as just multiplying numbers so i'm going to look at my first example here so if i have something like log of 2 plus log of 4 then this is just going to be written as log of 4 multiplied by 2, which equals to log of 8. Now, the only reason I put that 4 times 2 is so that people can kind of see where it comes from. Okay, another example. If we have something like log of 10 plus log of 3, then this is just going to be log of uh, 10 times 3, which is just 30. Uh, and if you have letters, if you have something like log of P, plus log of p for example actually i shouldn't use p because uh, i'm going to show you that later on how to do it but let's say log of uh, p uh, plus log of q then this just becomes log of p multiplied by q so it just stays as it is so next thing is uh, looking at division so if we have something like log of 12 take away log of 3 then we rewrite this as log of 12 divided by 3 which equals to log of 4. Um, or if you want to try another one is if you have log of 6 minus log of 2, then we can actually say 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So we can just write that as log of 3. And finally, if you want to have a look at letters, we can actually have log of P minus log of Q. And then this is equal to log of P divided by Q. All right, and so finally we go to the last example. If we have something like this, so say for example, we've got uh, log of four to the power of three, then all it is is we can rewrite this as three times log of four. That's basically it. Or if we wanna go backwards, say for example, if we have two times log six, then we can actually rewrite this as log six squared. So, I'm hoping it kind of makes sense. Another idea is that we could also do something like this, where we have log of 49. We can write that as log of 7 squared, which then would equal 2 log of 7. Hopefully that, that kind of works out for you guys. So one last couple of more examples. If we have something like this, half of log 25 then we can rewrite this as log of 25 to the power of half. And if you remember, you've actually been doing, uh, in this playlist anyway, if you've been keeping up with it, uh, you've actually been dealing with um, square root numbers and index, uh, writing expressions in index forms. So 25 to the power of half is the same thing as saying square root of 25, which is equal to five. And of course, the last one, do I need to do this? Yes, I do need to do this which is a question like this. If you have log of b over three, then this is the same thing as saying one third. So I'm gonna rewrite this as one third multiplied by log of b, which means we can rewrite this as log of b to the power of one third. All right guys, that's basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to keep up with the latest content. There should be some playlists popping up with some skills and worked exams and so on. So yeah, go check them out and thank you for watching.